Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So it was just revealed that season five of Game of Thrones just made some more big changes to the books. So I'm just gonna explain what those are gonna be. We've already seen some other big changes to main characters as well as them cutting out characters from the books altogether, even big characters. It's not a big surprise. They did say that season five would deviate from the books even more than season four did. Season four really just kind of cut out a few minor things and added a few scenes that were not in the books. It wasn't quite as bad. Hello any new people, if you're just finding me for the first time, I'm doing weekly Game of Thrones bonus videos till it comes back, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. I'm even giving away copies of A World of Ice and Fire, which is actually out in a couple weeks, so I'll explain that at the end of the video too. So just general blanket spoiler warnings if you don't want to know anything about what's going on in Season 5, just because I'll have to explain a few specific things about what happens in the books to some of these characters and the places they go. So just to start off with, this is all about Tyrion mostly. There are big Tyrion changes happening in the books. Obviously at the end of season four, Varys left with him, which is a big change in the books already. We didn't really know where they were headed. There were a number of places they could have gone on the East Coast, including Pentos, Bravos, or even Marine. Regardless of where they land first, it looks like we find out where he ends up, and it's pretty much where he ends up in the books. Some images recently linked of Peter Dinklage and his double being filmed near the Marine sets. There has been a little confusion recently just because the show is filming Doran scenes where they're filming marine scenes. It's just the desert is doubling for two different places. Most of what the images depict are things that are involved in book five, but the big WTF for book readers is that they're essentially cutting out all the young Griff story. I think that's what these confirm. Game of Thrones only has 10 episodes per season, so obviously they can't do everything. Obviously there's really nothing we can do about this, so we'll just have to learn to accept it and deal with it. I think they'll start out with Tyrion in Pentos, but then he'll go straight to Marine. Like they're basically cutting out the Volantis plot. That's basically where Young Griff picks up. The reason I feel like a lot of people will be upset is just because Young Griff is a huge character and they feel like by cutting him out, the show is telling us that he is definitely a Mummer's Dragon. There's no guarantees that's the case. I think we won't know that for sure until we read Winds of Winter, but George R. R. Martin has said many times that the books are gonna be very different from the show. Even though I feel like at the very end, like the series finale, the books will be the same. Like the final conclusion will be the same. I know there were a lot of book readers that were wondering whether Tyrion was going to get caught up in the grayscale plot, but now it seems like they're just going to skip that altogether. The interesting thing I think about all these pictures is, is that he's wearing a beard and Peter Dinklage in real life said that he was really against that. So I think they will be keeping a lot of things from the books, like the fact that Cersei wants him dead. That's probably why he's wearing that beard. If you don't recognize the other body double in this picture, it's his dar. So essentially they are doing a lot of things from book five, like a lot of the big things, especially the fighting pits. The real question is, is how they're going to end things. I do think that they will do the big, you know, book moment. I won't say what that is just in case people don't want that particular spoiler. Please use spoiler tags if you do want to talk about it though. The fact that we see Sir Jorah here is also really interesting. Daenerys obviously cast him out at the end of season four, so I'm interested to see how he ends up back there so soon. Don't think of it so much as them changing the book plot or changing characters too much. They're really just speeding things up a lot. I know a lot of people are worried about them doing Winds of Winter spoilers. I don't think that's going to happen, at least until season six. There have been no promises that Winds of Winter will be out by the end of 2015. I do think we'll at least see it by early 2016. Usually big books like this, they try to release around the Christmas shopping season just because people tend to spend more money around that time of year. Ideally, you think they try to release it during the premiere of a big Game of Thrones series or during the finale. HBO really has no connection with George R. R. Martin's publishing schedule though. I mean, they bought the rights to his books to do the story. They don't share in any of the profits or anything like that. Generally, they don't care if he writes more books or not. They have their show and they're going to do what they want to do. I didn't do a video about it, but I did talk about some of the Jamie changes that are happening in some of my previous videos. It's really hard to avoid spoilers and talk about this because you have to talk about the book plot that happens, which is way far in advance. If it's a minor character, I feel like it's not quite as bad. I'd be much more upset if they changed Cersei's story in book four or if they like cut out all the Sand Snakes. That would be like an unforgivable sin. Like you have to have at least some of the Sand Snakes, which they do, of course. They were also spotted on set recently too. This is basically what they look like. Without going too deep into the books, I do think they'll do part of the Dorn Master plan, you know, just part of like the big parts, and they'll do Tyrion joining Daenerys. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And right now, Cersei and everyone in King's Landing are Tyrion's enemy, so of course he's going to go to Daenerys. As for the Dorne Master plan, obviously they recast Marcella, so she's going to be a much bigger character. Typically, they recast actors if they age up too fast, like when the really young actors age up, or when they need someone for a much more expanded role that they don't feel like the existing actor they have is up to the task. 
I know everyone really loved the previous Marcella, but I guess the show either just ran into scheduling problems or they felt like she wasn't right for what they want Marcella to do in season five. I think one of the most interesting meta things that's been going on as they've been filming season five is just the fact that they do Dorne and Marine in the same place. I mean, it makes sense. They look very similar in terms of locations, but just the idea that worlds away are just collapsed and done right next to each other is so funny. I think one of the biggest things everyone's looking forward to is what the dragons are going to look like. Obviously, Rhaegal and Viserion were chained up down in the pit, so they're not going to grow as much. Dragons that are chained don't grow as big as dragons that roam free. Drogon is going to be the big WTF. They've done a really good job of evolving him from an effects standpoint. I almost felt like watching him in the season 4 trailer for the first time was a little bit pornographic. Like it was just such a spectacle. Like that's how crazy it was. Think about how much bigger he's going to be in season 5. He's been roaming free just eating as he pleases. Dragons that eat more grow much much faster. I know there are a lot of parallels that people draw to Balerion the Black Dread. I don't think the Drogon is just going to be a straight up repeat of that. But I mean this is fantasy literature so there are a lot of things that happen in cycles. So do not be surprised if he looks something like this. Obviously he's going to be much darker. If there's anything that I'm really hoping to see from the books, it's Tyrion learning more about dragons. But let me know, how do you feel about them cutting out the young Griff plot? I mean, I feel like it's essentially confirmed at this point. I know everyone's still wondering where Gendry is too. I kind of thought for a little bit they might give the young Griff plot to him. They share a lot of similarities in the fact that they have a little bit of royal blood in them. Joe Dempsey did say that he got to work with Maisie Williams at some point during the year, but it might have been on some unrelated project. It was very nonspecific, what he was talking about. So just to explain the World of Ice and Fire giveaway, essentially, you know, my book giveaway is just one book per week to a random subscriber in the comments. This week just starts a new round, so I'm on the second book that I'm giving away now. It's out October 28th, so it's just right around the corner. Congratulations to Top Shelf Underground. You're this week's giveaway winner. I'll reach out to you on your channel for details. Essentially, right now it's a pre-order, but it's Amazon. The next round of the giveaway will just start next week whenever I post my next bonus video. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. And if you have any suggestions for bonus videos or anything that you really want to request, feel free. I totally love doing bonus videos. Right now, click here to learn about the flashbacks that we're going to be getting starting in episode one of season five. That's actually going to be really cool. And click here for my top five pairings in season four. Thank you so much for watching. So let's all high five. I'll see you guys tonight.